Story behind me getting this one is kind of a frustrating one, actually. Um, Gashbon updated, and it said, you know, there's a bunch of units in here that... Nah, 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 nah. I should know better at this point that spending Astros on Gashbon, you're going to get screwed. Uh, the last, was it, three or four Gashbons I've been, I've been getting screwed over. I've been spending a lot of money on units that I don't want just to get the one that I do want. And this is a case of where that happened. You see, um, you see all these units right here? These are units that I rolled out of Gashapon that I did not want. I mean, ever. Did not want, or in some cases did not need. Um, and the, uh, the Crossbone Crossbone Kai uh, is one of those. Oh, and uh, let's see, I got two of these as well. So, Ava, what exactly was the unit you were trying to go for that it took $80 for you to get? Well, it was this little guy down here. It seems to be a growing trend with me, not a trend for a long period of time, where I spend an inordinate amount of points and Astros, time, money, and effort to get one unit that's really, really awesome, and I get thoroughly trolled by said Gashpon or capsule machine or in this case item machine um, and then when I finally get it after all that effort turns out it's kind of a dud so I got the Birdigo which I wanted which is basically the Gundam X equivalent of the um, it's the Gundam X version of the Cubile is what this is it's, it's, it's what it's supposed to be uh, it is the Cubile for all intents and purposes except in name appearance and, 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 well, pilot. But anyways, that's what I was going for. Turned out to be kind of a dud. Honestly, did. And, and by the way, his elbows are disconnected from his forearms. Just saying. Um, and I got, there were actually a couple of these I actually deleted. So I literally got everything in the uh, Gashvon, except for the one I wanted. I even, I think I had a couple more GN flags. I, I don't know. Like, I've already got a GN flag. I only have the one just because, okay, anyways. So, among those units, in, in the attempt to get that bird to go, I got one, two, three, four crossbone, crossbone Kais. How, how, how does it, it explain the percentages to me again? If you want... Mm, Alright, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm in a melee mood, so... Yeah, why not? Crossbone, crossbone Kai. Let's, let's see what it does. It's a melee unit, so I'm probably going to have to do the, the defense thing. Just because, you know, I'm not that good at it. Although I might do balance. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Combine. Well, I certainly have enough opportunities for it. Four of them. It, actually, I think it took me roughly $35 to get all four of these. And then I just stopped getting them all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, I've got four of them. So I, if I like it, I can keep two and combo the rest. Yay. Uh, and look at this, one, two, three, four. You know, they should have had the SR coupons, is what they should have done. Not the actual unit. That, that's what, that's what OGP should have done. They should have done it with a coupon. You could have milked a lot more money out of me. Uh, whatever. And this is a reliable one, maximum damage, increased defense, and booster recovery rate. Sweet. Guessing the shoulders and maybe one of the skirt thingies. Eh, close enough. I I had a chance to demo the original cross one. Um, not a not a huge fan of it, admittedly. Just you know, meh, whatever. Too much too much melee for my taste. The the best by far the best. Uh, wait, what? Okay, so better. The best crossbone Gundam or crossbone unit that I've come across yet is the um, is the Cross Three, which ironically doesn't have any variants to it, because um, it's a jack of all trades, and I love jack of all trades. So yeah. Oops, that's wrong. Actually, that's not too bad. I like it, the black eyes. It's kind of nice. Oh, huh, okay. Some people are huge Crossbone fans. 
you're only a fan if you read the manga, by the way. Th th this is one of those prominent units in SDGO where it doesn't come from an animated series or movie. It actually comes from a, uh, a manga. Or, yeah, manga. That's what it is. Let's see, let's do the prototype one. Hmm. By the way, these, these grays, this gray four, which is ordinarily Astro's only, I got that from the item capsule machine while I was trying to get that mass production new Gundam. 600,000 points to get that MP new Gundam. Was it worth it? Not particularly. It was a letdown in one big way, but uh, I'm not discussing that here. Yeah, whatever. I can't say I disagree with this one either. I like this. That looks damn good, actually. I might I might go I might do the unit four coloring on this. If if it's a unit I like using. I'm not saying I won't like using it, I'm just saying if. Hmm. By no means am I saying this is a bad unit. Not at all. It's just not something I wanted. Yeah, I thought about getting this, but, uh, whatever. Wait, what? Oh, it's three hits. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Oh, it's two hits. Weird. This is why they're called screw whips, huh? Good reload rate. What was that? Six shots, seven with, uh, whatever. Weird. That w that weapon one's gonna take some getting used to. Seven shots. Hmm. Wait, what's the reload on this? Oh, okay, it's a long. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? That's weird. I, I'm, that's, uh, oops, switch it, switch your modes, Ava. There you go. Hmm. Wait, that that's a critical, even though I was facing it from the front. Those come from under... nope. I was hoping those daggers would come out of the... Uh, wait, where do they come? Oh, they come from behind the knees, what? I thought they came from under the... under the, the legs or whatever it was. Hmm. Alright. Five swings, damn, son. It's a fucking powerful melee. I gotta do that again. Holy shit. Let's see, do they home? Nope, they don't home. Jeez. 
She can kill a C rank just with weapon one and three. I don't know, this thing hits so hard, I'm wondering if I can even combo with it. Nah, I don't think I can do an 8 swing with this. It'd be amazing if I could, but... Let's see. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so you can do a four hit knockdown, I guess. I don't know. Good gravy. Twelve shots, thirteen with patience. Don't have to wait very long for this one. Wow, this thing is beastly. <laughs> okay, that was the better of the two specs, by far. Wow. Okay, so this is a... This is actually one of those types of units I can actually work with. It's it's not a heavy in the melee, but it's melee beam rifle melee or melee ranged melee. No, granted the other mode has daggers, dumb fire, but you know, I think I can live with that. Hmm, maybe I should consider keeping this guy after all. Like I may not have wanted it originally. Not because it had a lot of melee or whatever it is, but just because, like, a, comparing this one to the the cross, the regular cross one or the regular cross two, and hmm. I kind of half expected him to do a little backflip at the end of the jump like all the Sangokuden units do. <laughs> wow, either I was really sloppy with that agility or the agility is really bad. Hmm, that took a long time to switch. That's taking a really long time to switch. What's going on here? I'm not, not very good at the MCA, but you know, usually you switch from a weapon that's recharging to another weapon and go off instantly. I don't know. Something's up. Yeah, now right there, it switched instantly. Hmm. I can't say it's an agility thing. It's, it's weird. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm bored and depressed, or, you know, literally depressed or whatnot, but, uh, I'm kind of meh right now, but this thing has, this has potential in my hanger. I think hanging on to this will be a good idea for me. Not what I thought it was going to be. GG. GG.